Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. So I received some PR goodies from MAC Cosmetics, and honestly, the little 16-year-old inside is screaming because MAC Cosmetics was the first type of makeup that I tried when I first started getting into makeup. So very excited for this. I think I sent them an email last year or so saying that I love their products and I wanted to be on the PR list. Never really thought about it again. And then when I got these boxes in the mail, I was like, I didn't order anything, did I? Because <laughs> I order things all the time, but I didn't really remember ordering anything this time. But yes, this is PR. I received a couple of things. So of course, first I want to say a big thank you to Mac for sending these over to me. Every single product was beautifully picked out to suit my skin tone and I love that intentionality. I am very impressed. I just, it just feels so welcoming to receive products that are actually for your skin type. I can't even tell you how many PR boxes I've received with products that just don't fit my skin tone. And it's like, I love receiving PR boxes. It's very humbling, but I want to receive something that actually matches me, something I can actually wear and have a good review on. With that little spiel out of the way, if this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and hair related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start off my base like I normally do. I'm prepping my skin with this Heige Relief Chamomile Mist. Spritz my face a little bit just to get it hydrated a little bit. I love moisturizing my skin before applying any type of foundation because it just gives you a supple base to work with. So I'm using Naturium's Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. It makes my skin so, so smooth. Max sent over this strobe cream, and this is supposed to be some sort of like a highlighter to put on your skin. Um, I think it's beautiful to use as a base on your skin here. I'm gonna put this on before applying powder on my face because I like to use my cream products first. First of all, this packaging, so cute. Love this. <laughs> this is in the shade Gold Light. So we're gonna put this on the highest points of my face and Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I'm assuming as you like blend it out even more, it's gonna look so luminized. I'm just gonna put this at the highest points of my face, wherever I want some of that glow to be, and then we're gonna blend it out. First of all, smells amazing. It's subtle, which I love fragrance to be subtle, and so I'm very, very happy about that. Yeah, that feels really good and it doesn't look like I have glitter on my face. Just a little bit of a glow without adding too much onto your skin. Next, I'm going to go ahead and powder my skin. This is what I do all the time, so it just makes sense to do it now as well. I'm using this Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep, and I'm going to take a fluffy powder brush to apply this on my skin. I'm only applying this where I get like really oily. Not too much powder, but it's just nice to have it as a little base there. Next, I'm gonna set my face with a makeup setting spray. This is a Scandinavia makeup finishing spray, one of my favorites. Using it as a base just gives something for the product to adhere to. I find that my makeup stays a lot longer when I put this on. I don't know what's in this bottle, but it is really good. <laughs> Max sent over two shades. This is NW45 and NW50. Right now I have a tan on, so most likely the 50 would be better, but we'll try them both. This is Max OG Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15. I like that that's a little bit of a nice touch too, that it has sunscreen in it, but of course, go ahead and prep your skin with the sunscreen first. I did actually apply sunscreen as part of my skincare routine earlier today, so I'm good to go. How's that like fresh makeup scent? So right here on the jaw. Okay, it's a little light for my skin right now. So we're going to try the NW50 and see how that one looks. Yeah. I'll start with the 50 and see how that goes. Just kind of, I like my makeup to look a little bit darker just because my neck is a bit darker. Look at how that just covered up like everything. Okay, so that's the foundation that we're gonna use. Before we get into that, I'm gonna correct my skin. Before I put on my foundation, I almost forgot, I'm gonna correct my skin. This is the Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette, and this one is in the shade Dark. 
So I'm very, very happy about how this looks. Like I've always seen makeup artists have this, especially back in the day, the OG YouTube. There you go. And they look so pigmented. Put it on my hand. Yeah, very pigmented. It's like you don't really need a lot of it to work. And that is what we love. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of orange to color correct around my mouth. I don't do a lot of correction, but it's nice to have a little bit. I'll put a little bit over here because we have a little bit of um, dark spots to correct. And then around my eyes, would we use the orange as well? Maybe a bit of the yellow just here in the inner corner to brighten that up. Yeah, just like that. So I'm gonna take a synthetic fiber brush and blend that out. I usually like using synthetic fibers when I'm using like cream products. I don't know, something about it. It just makes everything so much better. And this is a really old brush. This is from BH Cosmetics that I got years ago, but I do enjoy how it blends out these type of cream products. That actually looks so good. And it blends out really, really well. Wow, look at that. That blended out so good, like you can barely even see it, which is how I like to apply these types of products. For this, I'm actually brushing it down because I do have a little bit of a mustache over here. And so putting it in circles lets the hair kind of fly wherever it wants to, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just brushing it downwards to blend. I didn't get anything from MAC for eyebrows, but I'm going to use my trusty Dandy um, NYX Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Espresso. I've shown this in multiple videos before. I'm going to quickly do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. We are going to now go into our foundation. The one I'm starting off with is the NW50. Let's go ahead and put that on the back of my hand. I'm going to use my sponge, Beauty Blender, and blend that out. And this one would definitely be medium to full coverage. You can build it up if you want. I like having some of my skin peek through, so I'm going to be just like lightly building it, nothing crazy. Oh my gosh. And the highlight that we had on earlier, that's peeking through as well. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that shade match. Like, perfect for my tan. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin. And I know that with full coverage foundations, that is definitely like a feeling that you have. But no, it looks beautiful. It's reflecting light. That luminous glow underneath is also shining through. I really do enjoy how this looks on my skin. I'm going to contour, conceal, and bronze my skin. And I'll be right back. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and apply this lip conditioner. And this is what it looks like. It did actually come with a lip scrub, but this is a lip scrub or lip scrub shifts. And then this is the lip conditioner that comes with it as well. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that smells like vanilla. It's really creamy. Okay, it's like a really juicy lip balm and it's like a really juicy lip balm like it feels so I'm actually gonna set some of my face I'm just using my Fenty Beauty setting powder the reason why I'm using this one instead of the other one is because this one's a little bit more yellow and for setting I do like that to be a little bit more yellow it's not completely like banana powder but just a little bit on these areas right here yeah and I'm just literally tapping that into the skin accent over their OG Max Fix Plus and um, I'm pretty sure everybody who is anybody has heard of this one. I actually already have a Max um, Mac Pe actually already have a bottle of Mac Fix Plus. I'm going to be using the one I already have and I'm just going to keep this for my storage for when that is done. So thank you for sending that because it's one of my favorites. I'm going to apply this on my skin just so it's not too powdery and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and this is the trick here. You're going to press it into your skin. So just press, press, press and this allows the product to really just go into the skin and be absorbed 
properly so it's not just sitting on the skin. Using a sponge or a beauty blender to push the Fix Plus into your skin makes the world a difference. Next, I'm gonna highlight the skin. This is the highlighter they sent over. It's a liquid highlighter in the color Peach Luster. This is what it looks like. Look how sleek that packaging is. That is gorgeous. And so this one is more of a pump, uh, pump as you guys can see. That's what it looks like right there. This is what it looks like. So it kind of looks to me like a, um, like a concealer or like a corrector versus a highlighter. We already have a base on, so I'm not gonna really apply it, unfortunately, but I'll apply it in another makeup tutorial, but this is more like a highlighter for under your eyes. Um, so I don't really need to use that right now. It blends out quite nicely as well, so that's cool. Kinda has a mattified finish to it, so it's not gonna give you any like glossiness, which I know that a lot of like liquid primers or liquid highlighters actually are quite um, matte, so I like that too. And this is why I always say to make sure that the base of your face is very hydrated, because a lot of these correct and concealed products are a little bit more on the um, drier side. We're gonna be applying our blush. This is their Glow Play Blush that was sent over in the shade Rosie Does It. It's cute. That's a really cute name. But this is what it looks like. There you go. That is gorgeous. Oh my god, y'all. Look how gorgeous that shade is. Let's just do a quick swatch. Oh, it's like butter. Okay. It is like butter. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Ooh. I put it on my hand. Yeah. Very pigmented. One swipe. Hope you guys can see one swipe and that's what it looks like there you go oh yeah look at that i don't know if you guys can see but like that's such a gorgeous color y'all look at that look how vibrant that is so vibrant and i like actually applying my blush all the way into my temples because it elongates and heightens my face i'm gonna go ahead with my blush brush this is my morphe g4 brush and i'm going to blend it out yeah I totally forgot that the blush they sent over was more of a berry look, so my eyes are more of like an orange, but I don't mind. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere important, and I will be wearing a mask anyway, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh. Look, I'm just patting it in. Look how gorgeous that is. It's melting into my skin. It is so pretty. I like that it's vibrant and you can see it, but it's not like clownish. And especially because of my placement, it just melts into the skin. This one's gotta be one of my favorite blush colors. I love like berries on my skin. They look so good. Oh, so beautiful. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do our lips. The lip color that they sent over is powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the shade Burning Love. Now, I love liquid lipsticks, but I don't apply them like traditionally you apply them, like straight from the tube onto your lips. I actually like to dab it in so it's not as vibrant, but oh my god, look at this color. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to line my lips. I'm using the Chateau Matte X. It's a lippy stick from ColourPop, and I'm going to just outline my lips so it's a little bit more crisp and sharp. Ooh, totally forgot. I'm going to wipe this off. Okay, my lips are nice and conditioned, so I'm going to rub that off a little bit. Just because I find like when there's like more gloss on your lips, it's a little bit harder to apply. So there is our lip line. I'm going to go in with our liquid lipstick, put that on my ring finger here, and dab, dab that into the, the lips. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And I love this combination, like that's so pretty. Oh, it makes my teeth look so white. Oh, that's really pretty, y'all. Ooh, now that is a holiday berry. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed these little goodies that I had for you. Stay tuned for a couple of shorts coming up on my channel as well, featuring some of the products that I didn't get to try in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your favorite products, if there are any berry products that you love. I feel like that's this fall's color, berry. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.